What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here, and Echoes just came out this morning, uh, June 9th, 2015. The seventh big uh, set release for Scrolls came out called Echoes. Uh, I did a video like this for set six Waypoints and set five Rebellion, and people liked it, so I'll do it this time too. This is just um, me buying 100 Explorers packs. Uh, which costs 12 or 120,000 gold. I did not have quite as much gold um, for Echoes as I did for Waypoints, I believe. Mainly because uh, between Waypoints and Echoes, there's a lot of Avatar and Idol stuff that went in the store, and I, I like to buy a lot of that stuff. Uh, so, but I still had enough gold to uh, do this. Um, so, let me talk a little bit about Echoes. Uh, Echoes set 7, um, along with uh, the 60 new scrolls, 15 for each faction. Uh, two key features came out. Um, one, there are game replays now. All spectator little matches uh, are saved as a replay for like something like 9 days. Um, so I might bring back top plays of the week now that it's very easy to uh, go back and send me your play. Uh, or you just tell me like which match it is and I can find it in the replay menu. Um, so I th I'm thinking about bringing back t Scrolls Top 5 Plays of the Week, or Top 10 Plays of the Week. No, it was Top 5. <laughs> uh, and custom matches are in Echoes. Uh, people have been asking for that forever. Uh, you can challenge your friends, um, and you can change the rules, add conditions. It's I haven't really played it so much, but I assume it's going to be really fun. So I, I'm buying here 100 Explorers packs, uh, which gives me a pretty good uh, chance at really getting almost all of Echo Scrolls. Since you only get one rare, I mean actually you could get two rares because of the bonus scroll, but you usually get one rare per pack. Uh, even buying a hundred Explorer packs is probably not going to give you the full set. Uh, it gets you pretty darn close though. Um, Explorer's packs is just like a regular pack of ten scrolls except for you're guaranteed at least 40% of it will be from the newest set. In this case, it's Echoes. In the beginning here, I'm not getting too lucky with the packs. Uh, getting a lot of the rares and uncommons to be um, non-Echo Scrolls, but that's alright. I know things will even out uh, over the course of buying 100 Echoes packs, or Explorers packs, uh, rather. So I'm really just I'm mostly looking for, uh, I'm looking for all the scrolls. Mostly, definitely the Echoes rares, because also, if you get extras of those, those are easy to sell in the black market, and then I can complete the collection for whatever scrolls that I didn't manage to get. Um, I can just buy those in the black market and sell my extras, or have some Badger Guild trading or donating going on. So what I'm expecting to do is play with Automaton decks uh, first in ranked. I really just want to play with that stuff. Try the new stuff out. Yeah, with Echoes, I forgot to say, there was a rating uh, reset, or accelerated rating decay, as Atmas called it. I think it's kind of silly to call it accelerated rating decay, because as you can see, my rating right now is 1,083, and with the rating uh, before yesterday, before, this, before the accelerated rating decay happened, I was at 1860 rating, good for number three on the ranked ladder, four, or something like that, or five. And so if that brought me down to 1,000, that means like number one, two, three guys, they're probably like 1,100, 1,200 max rating. And if you play scrolls, you'll know that anything below 1,500 rating really means almost nothing. Like not to get anybody discouraged, but you don't really lose rating, or at least you lose very little and you gain a lot when you're below 1,500. So this accelerated rating decay thing, it really just pushes everybody down uh, may as well bring everybody to zero because uh, if everybody's solo anyways uh, just like why not have a complete reset but I, I guess it doesn't really matter so whatever I'll get into ranked again uh, maybe tonight maybe tomorrow with some new decks uh, so I'm like definitely come out with a lot of videos for you guys and the my new computer all the parts are at my house right now but I actually won't be able to build it for about a week a week and a day um, but once I have that all set up I'll go back to my streaming days and my videos every day almost 
Um, I'm still try, gonna try to have videos of, like every day now that Echoes is out though, uh, because there's a lot of content for me to do. The new big thing with Echoes, another thing that I didn't mention, is Judgment. Now, uh, you can sacrifice your wild freely, so it basically means you don't have to think when you're drafting. Just draft the best scroll in each row as if they could all fit in one deck. Because there's no more decay, order, energy, growth. It's just, everything's just wild. So the decks are going to get pretty crazy. Also, they changed it so that it's not 45 scrolls of drafting, it's 35. Uh, I guess that's fine. I'm definitely going to play some Judgment. If you didn't catch, uh, my last video was a a Judgment of the last non-all-wild Judgment run I'll ever do. Unless I end up reverting it. Uh, so now I'm starting to get some better draws with my things. Uh, getting a lot of wind-up automatons. Did not get them early, but those are nice to have. Uh, wow. This, oh yeah, this is the big thing. Tier 3 wind-up auto. You guys see that? Wind-up automaton, a rare from Echoes. It's one thing to get that, then to get a tier 3 version of that, that that's equal to 9 wind-up automatons. So that's really, really awesome. I think that's my best, uh, my best draw of this buying session. Uh, if you didn't know, when you buy an, uh, a scroll pack or an explorer's pack, you have a, I'm not sure the exact percentages, I don't think Mojang released that, maybe they did, I don't remember. Uh, you have a very small chance, actually it's not that small considering how many times I get it, a uh, chance of drawing an extra scroll from the pack. So instead of drawing, getting 10 scrolls, you get 11. You could just see in the bottom, uh, if you buy the first scroll, and instead of saying 9 scrolls left in the pack, it says 10, it means you have the extra, sc extra scroll. I almost wish they fixed that. So it doesn't say like 10 on the bottom, so then like you kind of like already know, as soon as you're looking through the commons of it, you already know there's going to be a extra scroll. And the extra scroll will always be tier 2 or tier 3. It could be rare, uncommon, or common, usually common, and usually tier 2, not tier 3. So that was pretty amazing, getting a, an Echoes wind-up automaton tier 3. That's like the best possible scenario. So now, man, buying packs was really boring. Like, I think... Either the Rebellion one or the Waypoints one, or maybe both of these videos of mine where I just open a lot of packs. Uh, I didn't like speed it up like a time lapse like I'm doing right now, and it was like an hour long video. Man, I did just I did not know what to talk about during those. Um, I mean, you're excited to get all the new scrolls, but after after a point, you're like, okay, can I just have all these? Uh, like some people I saw on Reddit were saying. Uh, it would be good if Mojang just added for real money, like you could play sh shards, um, a bunch of shards and you just get one of every acro scroll, or three of every acro scroll. Um, I wouldn't be opposed to that. I don't really care about this whole, all the whole pay to win arguments. Do it if, it was, if it's going to help the uh, game's numbers, I'd say. And yeah, since Echoes came out, there is a bit of an increase in the player base right now. Hopefully it's sustained for a little while. Um, and holds that momentum through Minecon, which should get it some publicity because the year, there is the Scrolls Minecon tournaments coming up, uh, the two qualifiers and the tournament at Minecon. I will uh, try to get, I will try to qualify uh, in the two qualifier tournaments so I can play in the real thing. Um, unfortunately, I am unable to go to Minecon. I live all the way over here in New York. Uh, if Minecon was somewhere near me, maybe I can go, but going, uh, all the way to London and I'm only 17 years old that would be tough so I'll have to enjoy the festivities from my home but I'll be playing scrolls with all you and hopefully I can play scrolls at the Minecon tournament if I can qualify there's two cups uh, I believe it's n not this coming Sunday the Sunday after this Sunday and the Sunday after that are the two qualifying cups uh, if you come in the top four, you have a spot reserved in the Minecon tournament. So the Minecon tournament is just eight people. I guess I don't want to make it too big, because it probably can't be too long for the people to enjoy it at Minecon. Hopefully there's like some kind of scrolls panel at Minecon, uh, just for more publicity. Because how long have we been saying how long have we been saying scrolls means more publicity? Uh, speaking of publicity. Uh, I've seen posts on Reddit and stuff, a couple of new, like, few new YouTubers, not, like, popular YouTubers, 
but just new people are just trying out the game and some are making videos on it so that's pretty cool I still think YouTube's success, success for the game is crucial to, to its overall success but it's always nice to see a lot of small guys making scrolls videos so we're just nearing the end of buying 100 packs personally I think watching somebody buy all these packs is pretty boring but I guess if you can't afford it yourself next best thing is to steal the excitement from somebody else and watch them open 100 packs so I'm like I'm just like hoping that I have 60 all 60 scrolls like at least two almost three of all of them so I have so I don't have to do that much work looking on the black market or doing badger trading. Uh, but the chances of that are very low, and I, I, I'm not sure if I remember seeing all the scrolls. I'm also not very acquainted with all the Echo scrolls. I didn't do that much testing for this update, so I'm going to be learning kind of with you guys uh, if you have been kind of AFK like I've been for the past few months. Um, so it's going to be fun. And we're just ending it here, and now it's going back to like a commentary before where I go over. All right. Bought 100 packs, and I don't know how successful that was. Uh, hopefully, I don't have to do that much selling and buying in the black market, but let's just check out what we got. So, let's just search set seven. Oops, I wasn't even clicked there. Set seven. Um, okay, we got a lot of doubles. <laughs> you, you guys saw, like, there was. Um, Certainly a lot of uneven things. So I have 57 unique types and there's 60 echo scrolls. So there's three scrolls that I did not get a single one of. Probably three rares. I only got one coronation, one Varus. There was a Varus in my score, only two sleep more drawings. But like, I have a consolidator, uh, Niara to sell. I have a bunch of ores disruptors to sell. Um, so hopefully it's not too hard to get the other scrolls. So by the time I post another video, um, hopefully a day or two or maybe tomorrow uh, I'll have all the echo scrolls and I'll get right back into things so I guess that'll be it for today like the video if you enjoyed subscribe for more content follow me on Twitter follow me on twitch I'll be streaming I'll be streaming soon with my new computer and I'll see you next time keep on scrolling scrollers